Adenosine is a short-acting antiarrhythmic drug commonly used in clinical settings in response to tachycardias called PSVTs. Adenosine slows nodal tissue through potassium and calcium-related mechanisms, but has had a few adverse effects such as chest pain, flushing, and the sense of impending doom. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover everything you need to know about adenosine for test day. Let's get started. Ahoy, matey! Today, we're at sea on our Pixarized ship. Uh-oh, it seems like there's some commotion going on. Let's see what's happening. First, let's anchor ourselves to the scene by taking a look at our admiral. Doesn't admiral sound kind of like adenosine? The admiral is the star of this ship, just like adenosine is the star of this video. Get it? It's the Admiral Adenosine. It looks like the Adenosine, I mean the Admiral, is ordering one of the crewmen to walk the plank. He must have done something pretty terrible to deserve that. Anyways, let's take a look at the crewman. He seems to be walking very slowly off the plank. I would be too if I was about to jump into the ocean. The crewman walking slowly off the plank is our symbol for the slowing of nodal tissue in the heart, which is the action of adenosine. So the slow-moving crewman represents the slowing of the nodal tissue in the heart. The crewman is going to take a while, so we'll get back to him in a minute. So now we know what Admiral Adenosine does, but let's find out how he does it. If we look back at the deck of the boat, we can see why the admiral has sentenced the person to his fate. This crewman has broken into the food reserves and ate all the supplies. Look at all those banana peels on the floor. These spilled bananas represent the increase in potassium efflux leading to lower levels of potassium in the cell. A1 receptors on the heart are agonized, causing the activation of G-mediated potassium channels. This activation then leads to potassium efflux and the hyperpolarization of the nodal tissue, which suppresses conduction. These effects may be inhibited by adenosine receptor antagonists, such as theophylline and caffeine. So, since bananas have high potassium... Our spilled bananas represent the potassium efflux action of adenosine. It looks like it wasn't just bananas the crewman ate. All of the calcium ice cream is gone too. Calcium ice cream is Pixarize's recurring symbol for calcium. And since these empty calcium tubs are on the ground, it should remind you of adenosine's action of blocking calcium influx. L-type calcium channels are normally used in phase zero of nodal action potential. However, since adenosine inhibits these channels and prolongs phase four of the action potential. However, adenosine inhibits these channels and prolongs phase four of the action potential. So, on test day, when you're trying to recall how adenosine slows the heart, picture bananas and calcium ice cream on the floor of our ship to remember the decreased levels of potassium and calcium in the cells. These are the main two mechanisms by which adenosine treats tachycardia. If you know these for test day, you won't have to panic like our thief here on the plank. But for all you gunners out there, you may want to know that adenosine vasodilates coronary arteries as a third mechanism for slowing conduction of the heart. Next, Let's look at the left of our image to find another crewman doing a fast beat drum roll. Makes sense since you usually hear a drum roll when something exciting is about to happen. It kind of sounds like a really fast heartbeat. Uh-oh, our drum rolling crewman is being told to stop by Admiral Adenosine. I guess he thinks this is serious punishment and is no time for drum rolls. What a strict guy. Anyways, the stoppage of the fast beat drum roll is our symbol for adenosine's role in treating paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardias, or PSVTs. PSVTs are usually caused by the re-entrant electrical circuit involving the AV node. This is disrupted by adenosine's action on the AV node. Re-entrant is highly dependent on perfect timing, so if you slow down conduction with adenosine, 
you can disrupt timing enough to get a patient out of the arrhythmia. So our fast beat drum roll represents a PSVT, and our ad roll putting a stop to it represents how adenosine stops PSVTs through the mechanisms we mentioned before. Okay, let's get back to our thief walking the plank. He's still walking because he's going so slow. Notice how the plank he's walking is really short. This short plank is our symbol for the short time it takes for adenosine to cause an effect. It only takes about 15 seconds. Get it? A short plank for the short-acting drug? Let's take a closer look at our thief. He looks really scared, probably because he's about to meet a cold, watery fate. Our crewman's sense of impending doom is our symbol for, well, a sense of impending doom felt by some patients that are given adenosine. Now that's a good symbol. This is a common adverse effect of adenosine that test makers like to associate with the drug in clinical vignettes. So just remember the look on our thief's face to recall a sense of impending doom is common amongst walking planks and those that are given adenosine. It looks like something else is wrong with the crewman's face. He is looking bright red. You might say he's flushing with nervousness. I would be too in this situation. Our crewman's nervous flushing is our symbol for the flushing red cheeks and necks patients sometimes have when given adenosine. Another easy one to remember because our flushing crewman will help you remember the flushing faces of patients. Finally, it looks like the crewman is doing something with his arm. He is clutching his chest, probably because of all the fear. The crewman clutching his chest is our symbol for the burning chest pain patients can feel when given adenosine. This is secondary to a phenomenon called bronchospasm, which is basically the fast contractions or spasms of the bronchial tubules. So our crewman clutching his chest should help you remember the burning chest pain patients can feel when given adenosine. And the crewman's fearful and flushing face will help you recall a sense of impending doom and flushing as the other main adverse effects. All right, that's it for adenosine. Let's summarize what we've learned. Adenosine is a short-acting antiarrhythmic drug that slows nodal tissue. It accomplishes this mainly through an increase in potassium efflux and a decrease in calcium influx. There is a third mechanism in which vasodilation of coronary arteries also occurs. Clinically, adenosine is useful for treating tachycardias called PSVTs or paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Finally, adenosine can cause adverse effects such as the sense of impending doom, chest pain, and flushing. Phew! Now we're actually done. Let's allow our Admiral Adenosine here to continue running the ship and get out of his way. We probably don't want to make him angry. We've got some more drugs to learn anyway. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the more here arrow. I'll see you next time.